Welcome to another Croquet Innovations event. This is an exhibition featuring Jeff Sue. It's being held at the National Croquet Center in West Palm Beach, and the date was May 11th, 2019. The innovator of these games is Howard Sosen, and he's also the generous sponsor of these events. The featured game in this video is called Collect the Clips. The rules are complicated. There's a link to the full rules in the intro. But the basics are clips are placed on four hoops chosen randomly. The balls are placed in four random spots. And the player chooses any ball as his striker and can lift it to position. The clips are all the same color because it doesn't matter which ball you use for which peel. The balls are all placed in the numbered positions you see on this diagram. And that extra rectangle inside the boundaries is three and a half yards from the boundary and players can mark the ball in there if they want to. Basically that line is used for placing the balls as you see. The point is to collect all the clips by scoring two hoops and peeling two hoops in any order, giving one point per peel. With any remaining strokes, you then earn bonus points. And the number of remaining strokes is just what's imposed by AC rules. The maximum being seven if the last maneuver and collect the clips is scoring a hoop to get clean. Bonus events include peeling any ball through any hoop in either direction and peg outs. You get one point for the first two of these and then three points each for any additional ones. The possibilities are mind boggling. The simplest example is probably two points for the peels and collecting the clips, two points for pegging out the first two balls in the bonus period, and then six points for pegging out the last two balls. For a total of 10 points, a very good turn. I calculated a theoretical maximum of 16 points. Howard showed me how it could actually be 22. In fact, Jeff's score in puzzle four sets the bar quite high. We do puzzles three through seven in this video and I hand it over to your innovator, Howard Sosen. This is Jeff Sue working on puzzle number three. He has chosen hoops 3, 4, 9, and 11, and ball positions 12, 13, 18, and 19. After due consideration, he goes to the peg and is going to pick his striker ball, and he's chosen red. Notice that the court has the normal boundary line, but in addition, there's a box inside of that that's three and a half yards measured in. And that's very useful for locating where the balls go. So Jeff picks up red and is going to yellow. Uh, actually, he changes his mind and goes to black. In this game, you can start with a lift to position, which means you can give yourself a rush. With two clips on one hoop, which in this case is four and nine, it's a very advantageous area in which to peel. So Jeff rushes black out behind yellow on the southern boundary. He can mark it in one yard or three and a half yards at his option. Another rule of this game to facilitate getting behind balls and rushes. He'll now take croquet on black. In this game you need to make two hoops and two peels to complete a puzzle. You can do three peels or four peels, but you must do at least two. I don't think Jeff liked that croquet shot. It went a little too far, but he did get the rush on yellow, which he needed. Jeff rushes yellow to the east of blue.
which was in ball location 12. Black was in 18 when he started, yellow was right by him in 19. And he picked up red, which was on 13. He will now take croquet on yellow and has chosen the one yard line. He's going to send yellow back toward uh, hoops four and nine. And he'll gain a rush on blue. Good position for yellow for the peel. And yellow could possibly peel twice there, but we'll see. Jeff brushes blue toward hoop three. This hoop he will make because he's already used the other two balls and in order to continue he has to make a hoop to get clean on them. So he'll take croquet here. Looks like a little half roll. And he'll make hoop three. And he will collect the clip, which will be the first clip out of the four he's trying to collect. Hoops don't generate points, only peels generate points. And if you do collect the clips, which we'll see in later puzzles, you actually get to go for bonus points. So Jeff has collected the clip at hoop three and will hit blue. Now he wants to come down and get a peel done. There are various patterns that will collect the clips. Hoop, peel, hoop, peel is one. Uh, hoop, hoop, peel, peel. Uh, peel, hoop, peel, hoop. Peel, peel, hoop, hoop. You get the idea. There are six of them that involve two hoops and two peels. Jeff is trying to send blue toward 11 which he does very nicely as he takes off to black and yellow. So Jeff is looking to peel at 11, which means he wants to get a peel done here. He could peel before making the hoop, but he could also peel after. So Jeff rushes black, which I believe now is encumbered or blocked by yellow. Uh, he might have wanted to try the peel and then the hoop, but I think now he'll go the more conservative way and make the hoop and try to back peel yellow. That means he will have gone hoop hoop. He'll have to end peel, peel, in order to collect the clips. So Jeff taps yellow, and we'll try to put yellow in peel position as he goes to position at hoop four, peel position at nine for yellow. Which he does nicely. So he will now make this hoop, which he does. He'll collect the clip for hoop four. He'll tap yellow and try the peel. And then he still has to go up, escaping with black to make the other peel to collect the clips. So this peel is pretty important. He has no points so far. The only points you get during the collection phase are for peels. You can get one, two, three, or four, as we've said, but t uh, two is what's necessary in order to have a chance for bonus points. Bonus points can be peels or peg outs at any hoop at, and pegging out any ball once the clips are collected. 
So if he can peel here, escape with black to hoop 11, he can then pe peel blue at 11 and be in the bonus situation. Oh, it's Jaws. Not all is lost, however. If Jeff can get up to hoop 11 with black, peel blue there coming back down, he can do a scatter peel and still collect the clips with yellow, but he'll have no extra shots for bonus points, but he'll still collect two points for, collect for collecting the clips. He'll still earn two points. So here goes, hits black, up toward blue, whoops, it hits the peg. Good shot. Taps, t taps blue. And the clip is on 11. Oh, that was nice. So he needs to peel and then get south of yellow and finish that peel, which is in the jaws. Or right, south. South of Yola at hoop nine. Here goes. Oh, good peel. Here comes red. Oh no. Red hits yellow from the four, hoop four side, which means that Jeff's turn is over. Still an excellent turn, scored one point. This is puzzle number four. The chosen hoops are 6, 7, 11, and 12. The ball locations are 1, 6, 7, puzzle four. and 15. Jeff has considered his options and must go pick the striker clip. And in this case, he's picked blue. This is a fortuitous situation because Hoop six and 11 are a double, and they're also in the middle, which makes it even easier. Blue was way off in a corner at location one. Jeff chose to use it as striker, and we'll go to red. I believe he will try to immediately rush red to 12, to, to I'm sorry, to 11, and try the peel. Good rush. And here comes the peel attempt. Ah, it goes into the jaws. Don't despair, that's a good result, as we will see. He'll be able to rush peel that and then maybe be able to turn around and croquet peel at six. But meanwhile, he is with black, which is, it was his intention. And I believe he will go and make a hoop with yellow. Rushes black down to yellow. Yellow was at spot 15. They're numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, running each from east to west, starting in the north. So he's rushed black south of yellow and will now croquet black, I believe up toward hoop seven, going to get a rush on yellow to make hoop 12. Good shot. So black will be an escape ball after peels on red or attempted peels. But now we need to rush over to hoop 12 with yellow. Fine shot.
takes position nicely, leaving himself the ability to rush yellow back up the court if he makes his hoop. So he's gone hoop. Still no points, but he's in position to go hoop, peel, peel, hoop. If he can go rush, peel, red, and then croquet, peel, red. It's windy, however. So Jeff rushes right up toward black, actually into black, of no consequence. <clears throat> He's now going to take off or croquet yellow out of the way, going to peel red at 11 with a rush peel. Nice shot. Gets the rush peel, picks up the clip for 11. He's ball in hand red, which means he can immediately turn around and croquet peel him, going to black. So he scored one point so far for this turn. Why the peel at 11? This should be an easy second point. The peel at six. Gets it, corrects that clip, leaves himself a very nice rush to seven. Ooh, rushes a little long. Take a careful croquet shot to keep things in control. Be a real pity to not collect the clips by failing on a hoop after you've had two good peels. Now that's perfect, right in front. Classic Jeff Sue, six inches. So now he can make this hoop and collect the clips and then enter the bonus phase. During the bonus phase, you can peel any ball, blue, blue can peel any ball at any hoop for points and peg out any ball. The first three events are one point each, and then events after that, if you get there, are three points each. So he rushes black. Uh, behind red, or north of red. I believe he's going to try to peg out black from there, which is about a 15 yard peg out, which if he's lucky would put him in position to peel red. And there's still the possibility of pegging out yellow and blue. But first, this peg out attempt. Here it comes. Oh, he gets it, terrific. One, one bonus event. You'll have to get that out of the way. Now I suspect he'll try to peel red. Remember, you can peel in it, in any hoop in any direction. So he'll peel at 11 again. Taps red gently, good shot. Okay, here comes his attempt of a peel for the a second bonus play. Seems confident of this one. Excellent shot. Oh, and it hits the peg. That's a second event. It's perfectly allowable. So he now has had three events for three points. He now can, each of these subsequent peg outs here are also worth three. So he could get 11 bonus points, one each for pegging out black and peeling red and then three each for pegging out red 
yellow, and then blue. This would lead to the unbelievable total of 13 total points. I think the only way anybody could get more would be to have a similar peel peg out in the same stroke from hoop 5 for a maximum of 16. I'll bet this record that Jeff is setting now will never be broken. This is puzzle number five. The hoops are two, four, five, and ten. The ball locations are five, nine, fourteen, and sixteen. Two, four, and ten are external. Uh, five is internal, but it's a long way from the others. This is a tough puzzle. Let's see what Jeff does. He's thinking about it. The first thing he has to do is pick the striker ball. Fourteen of the ball locations turn out to be on the three and a half yard line in the middle of seven by seven yard squares. Just a little noted fact. So Jeff would be quite happy to go hoop peel hoop peel, collect the clips and call it a day. If he gets one or two bonus points, he'd be thrilled. Not quite the last puzzle. So, Jeff has made his choice. And he's picked blue, which is at location five. Picks blue up goes for his lift to position and he's going to go to red which was at position nine and he'll rush red across the lawn toward yellow Actually, he can try the peel at hoop four going to yellow. Or at least try to get it ready to be peeled there. He could then think of leaving yellow behind. Ooh, what a great peel attempt. I was going to say he could leave yellow behind as the escape ball, but with that, he can be more aggressive about where he puts yellow. So normally you probably leave that there to be the escape ball after the peel attempt, which would come after making a hoop. So I think Jeff is thinking more expansively now, which happens when good things happen like jawsing a ball you don't expect to jaws. So Jeff rushes yellow back across the lawn all the way off on the west. So he's left with black still to use, which is at position 14. Someone throws him the ball. It didn't just magically come by itself. Yellow is marked in one yard at Jeff's choice. One or three and a half. So we can send this ball to two or ten. I believe he'll send it to ten. Going to black. And then my guess is he'll use black 
to make hoop five. Croquet shot, sending yellow toward 10. A little short, but a good rush on black. Black to five, nicely done. So Jeff will start by co collecting the clip by making a hoop at hoop five. Okay, shot. Makes the hoop, I hope. Gets a rush on black. Excellent. Now he wants to go over there and get in position to rush peel red. That was not what he wanted but it shouldn't really hurt him. I think he can still send black to 10. So between hoops two and 10, there'll have to be another peel if he's going to collect the clip successfully. I would send it to two, but you've got to get the rush peel on red. Sends it toward two. Not bad at all. So now we need the rush peel, which looked like it was a sure thing. You never know till you do it. Oh, that was a bad shot. That changes everything. Now, the only thing Jeff can do is make this hoop and then go attempt to go peel peel. So he made the hoop at five. He had planned to peel at four, go make one of the other hoops, two or ten, and then go peel the other. Now he has no more options. So he'll make this hoop and then use red to get to balls at two or ten. Not impossible, but not easy. Oh! He chose to do the peel. That means he's got a hit here or his turn's over. So he did get... But his, he misses yellow, so his turn is over. But no extra points. This is puzzle number six. The hoops are one, three, eight, and nine. Blue is on position one. Red is on position four. Black, as you see right there, is on 14. Yellow would be to the far right uh, at position uh, 19. And Jeff has chosen blue, uh, which makes sense given where the other balls are, and especially given that Jeff has a double with hoops one and eight. And three and nine are nice as well because they are both uh, internal hoops. So this is a fairly friendly puzzle, and Jeff's going to start it off by trying for a peel rushing black from what its position which was 14 to 
peel at hoop 8 and we will be peeling going to yellow which is at position 19 almost not a bad result though ever. but I don't think he wanted to hit yellow I think he had hoped to get a rush on yellow but this is what he has yeah so he's now thinking about hoop nine sending yellow to nine while going to red which is at position four and it happens also to be near hoop number three so a great shot here would put yellow in peel position potentially at nine or at least easy hoop position while going to red that's a good shot on yellow leaves him three and a half yards now he has to hit red and that means he will use hoop three as his first hoop oof just barely okay is red take croquet and try to get a rush on red try for position first and foremost and then for a rush on red if he can make the hoop good croquet shot and Jeff makes hoop three Gets a rush on red, but I think he wanted it further south. But he'll take what he's got and probably send it toward the west. So from there, remember, he's got balls uh, almost in the jaws at eight. Black and yellow in decent position at nine. I think he'll send red down to hoop one and eight. Perhaps go there and try the peel on black. If he gets it, then black would be an easy peel also at one after making nine with yellow. So here he comes. Mm. Can he hit black? Can't tell. Well, apparently it's not as close as I think it is. It's black. Ooh, now the question is, can he peel black? So he's used black. He's used red. Uh, if he's going to do this peel going to yellow, uh, that's fine. I think that makes the most sense. If he can jaws it, he can then do the trick he did before, which is rush peel and croquet peel, because once again, hoops one and eight make a double. And again, that happens about 40% of the time. Statistically, you will have a single double. In fact, you can have double double. And that happens about 12% of the time. Okay, Jeff needs to hit yellow. It's his third ball and needs to make hoop nine. Which would have him go hoop hoop, which means he'll have to end peel peel. But he's in position to make that happen. 
good croquet shot. Nice firm hoop. Gives himself a nice rush back over toward the balls at one and eight. Lots of options there. I mean, this gets into position. He could peel it at one. Uh, but that would be a little bit difficult to get the one at eight. I think he's going to try to go to black and do the uh, peel peel drill that we saw him use successfully on the fourth puzzle. Now, an issue is can he get to rush peel position? He's going to take off from yellow. But can he get there? If he can, gets them both done, well then he'll have an easy play on red. But Jeff doesn't think he can. So he's going to use red to gain the rush peel position on black, which means he will give up. He's already given up extra points on yellow. He's about to give up extra points possibilities on red, but he wants to collect the clips. And that will leave him with a potential rush peel, croquet peel, going to the peg and a final peg out for one extra point. Kind of meager relative to what we saw him do before, but this is a conservative way to collect the clips. Puts it in nice position for the rush peel. Measures carefully. Oof, good rush peel. Now that's so close that I think he can gamble croquet peeling it going to the peg, unless red's in the way, I don't think it is. If black were back a few inches, then the smart thing to do would be to get the, the peel done and take a long shot at the peg. There he goes. Peel. So he's going hoop, hoop, peel, peel. Collected two points for collecting the clips. Earned two points, sorry. Collecting clips, and he has a chance for one more here. And he he nicked it, so he went hoop hoop peel peel and got one extra point, three total. Good turn. This is our last puzzle of the day, the one we call number seven, actually the fifth in the series. Uh, the chosen hoops are 1, 2, 6, and 12. The ball locations, blue is at 8, red is at 10, black is at 11, and yellow is at 16. One is an internal hoop, but 2, 6 are external, uh, and 12 is external. This is not a particularly easy pattern to collect the clips from. Jeff is considering his options. The only thing he could try on an immediate peel would be a one. Uh, let's see if that's what he does. So we could rush a ball to one, death roll to one of the other balls. Uh, Jeff and I have talked about this and he tends to view difficult puzzles as ones he should go hoop peel hoop peel and be happy as opposed to trying to get all the extra shots uh, at the end. So picking up blue is logical. It's away from the action. And going to yellow is also logical because it could bring yellow into the action. Yeah, He could rush yellow to one and try it but it doesn't look like that's what he's going to do. 
So he's playing conservatively here. Short rush on yellow. And looks like he's sending it to hoop six, gaining a rush on black. Okay, so now a pattern emerges. He can rush and croquet black to hoop two, and think of peeling later at six going to hoop two. Let's see if that's what he's got on his mind. He has to go to red and then he has to go make a hoop or he's got to make a hoop right now. Okay, so he sends it toward two getting a nice rush on red to hoop one. So he'll go down and he'll make hoop one. Good rush. Actually a little long, but shouldn't hurt him. Actually a little to the left, it's not long. Let's say good rush. Good croquet shot, for sure. And Jeff makes hoop one. Okay, so he now will look to get a peel done and maybe also set up for another one both of which are necessary to collect the clips. Rushes it to the east. And I believe he'll croquet it to hoop 12, going to yellow, just like we talked about. Perhaps try the peel on yellow, going to black. Here comes red. Nicely toward 12. Yeah, hair long, but nice shot. Leaving a very nice rush on yellow. To hoop six. Seems like Simple peel attempt, going to black at hoop two. Here it comes, good peel. Oh, he hits black. Don't think he wanted to do that. Shouldn't be a major impediment, however. But takes a nice croquet shot. Which he gets. Good shot. And Jeff makes hoop two. So he's gone hoop, peel, hoop. Gotta go peel. Now the question is how many balls is he going to use in his attempt to peel? So he could rush black to yellow and then yellow uh, down to red. He could just rush black to red. It's set up better to rush black to red.
but I don't see where extra points are going to come from because black is an external hoop so striker will come south not going toward yellow if it had been five he could peel going to yellow and then have a chance for two bonus points I think he'll be lucky to get one which would be striker himself on a long shot at the peg but right now he's focused on putting red in position for the peel he's trying to figure out if there are any extra bonus points I don't think we've missed him Jeff Do this peel and then you can shoot a yellow if you're adventuresome or you can just shoot at the peg and hope for one but right now get the peel Here we go. Hoop peel, hoop peel, nice peel. I would just shoot at the peg. Can't tell where he's aimed. Kind of looks like a yellow. But it actually missed. So Jeff missed on his attempt to have any extra points, but he did collect the clips, therefore he earns two points. If you're still with us, this summary of the results may be of interest. Um, Jeff was able to collect all the clips in puzzles four, six, and seven, giving him those two points. He only got one point in three and five. Four was spectacular because he got 11 bonus points, partly from pegging out all four balls. And in one of those, the peg out was in one stroke, which also peeled penult. I think the only way this is going to be improved upon is if all four randomly chosen clips are doubles at hoop five and six. And then in the bonus period, the player is able to arrange peel and peg out in one stroke on two different balls, one at Penal and one at Hoop 5. That would give 16 points. And Howard points out that if you throw in a couple of rush peels followed by croquet peels, you can get the total up to 22 points theoretically. We both agree that that will probably never happen. 16 is certainly possible. Jeff's 13 certainly sets the bar very high. I've included this key to the clip and ball positions for each puzzle at Howard's suggestion in case anybody wants to duplicate the puzzles found in the videos. These were generated randomly by picking numbered blocks from a bag of 12 for the clips and 20 for the balls. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, subscribe, hit the notification button, check out the rest of the Croquet Innovations videos and all the Croquet videos on my channel. Thanks so much for all your support.